during the, the All-Star race when I uh, was doing a broadcast. Dale Earnhardt, he got wrecked up there in a corner. And uh, they sent me to go get him. He is going to be insane. I don't even know what I'm going to ask him, but, you know, I'm going to try. And I'm next to the window net, and uh, he, sw you know how he used to swing his leg out of the car? Mm -hmm. He used to get out like that? He got like that, and I mean, he he gave me up right in the right below the belt, and he buckled me over. He knew what he was doing. He buckled me a little bit. I went down like that. I was like, oh man. Randy? Well, Dale climbs from the car. Dale, you okay? Watch out, guys. Watch out. Uh, Dale Earnhardt got a little bit of a limp. Uh, goes up to talk. We'll see if we can get a word with him. He's going to sit down here for a second. And I'm having to ad lib all the way through the garage or until he gets over to the trailer, and I'm just praying he's going to give me some kind of sound bite on national <laughs> television so I don't look like a jerk. Dale, anything goes on that. First of all, you okay? You limped out. What do you mean anything Dale, goes? I went, oh, geez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I gave him an open ended question. I'm done. Okay. Uh, well, you lift out. Are you okay? Pop my ankle a little bit. Okay. That's Dale Earnhardt. Um, first of all, he kicked me. Then <laughs> he laid me out, you know, on national TV. But I saw him at Phoenix. He was standing on the NASCAR trail. I went off to him. He was all by himself. I said, I got a question for you. I said, you got a problem? You got a problem with me or anything? He goes, no, man, you're great. You, you do what you do. He knew what I was asking. He goes, oh, man, don't worry about it. He's, you're, you're all right. We're all right. You know, I was like, cool. <laughs> Well, Dale Earnhardt literally dominated the Bud 500, leading 456 of the 500 laps and route to his second victory of 1989. I'm Randy Pemberton, and I'll have the story. Damn right you will. Cut. There was a connection that you would that you would ultimately, you know, have with Dale. I, I did, but it, it took probably longer for me because his job was was to do that, to keep people at arm's length that needed to be kept at arm's length. When you got inside that fold, you knew, you know, he was a pretty good guy. Oh yeah, well he would do stuff to you. I mean, it was constant, constant. Ha! Go ahead, they're all he wants. As the teams approach midseason, this was the first time Dale Earnhardt was not leading in the Winston Cup point standings. No. At this point in the season, to be continued. Did you get that? To be continued, I guarantee you. That was his way of showing you, I see what you guys are doing. You're working your asses off. I understand it. You know, you're here for us. You know, you're digging. We appreciate you. That was just him. When too many fans were in the garage area, I, and I'll, I Tell always I know, you, I know where you're going here. And there was too many fans in the garage area, and he'd sign a lot of autographs. And when it just got to be too much for him, he would go over to the NASCAR trailer, <laughs> slide open the back doors of the NASCAR trailer, and sit on the back and just sign autographs. <laughs> There'd be a thousand people around the NASCAR trailer. The NASCAR officials would get so mad because they couldn't even get to him. I mean, Mike Elton, He'd just be smiling. He'd be smiling, He'd be smiling. and he, he knew he was doing like, there you go. Obviously, come on, in come on in, get in here, come on up here, take a picture, and he'd get all these fans of the NASCAR trailer. It could and work. You'd catch his eye, and you just kind of laugh at him. You want to, you know, make him make him laugh about signing. He'd give you that smile. He'd just be going, you know, just be going like that. I'm out of hot wheels. I see your garage passes, everybody. Garage right, hang out with As far as we go, right here. Damn, I ain't got one either. I know. All right, folks.